Okay, I just got fully wrecked there. That was, this was Icarus flying too close to the sun. I took the final exam in linear algebra that MIT has. It's a three hour final exam. I spent only about an hour, 45 minutes on it, but I have tried to teach myself linear algebra from scratch using nothing but chat GPT. I got through the whole linear algebra curriculum in 21 days. And then the last few days have been sort of reviewing, but I've honestly been kind of sick and busy with life and didn't have that much chance to review. I said, screw it, I'll just take the MIT exam anyways. And oh boy, <laughs> it did not go well. Most of the problems, I just didn't really know what to do. I sort of had some sense of what I should know how to do, but some of the material I learned was rusty. I don't think I'd given myself enough time or spaced repetition practice to really have it gel. And the result was a 62% on the final, which according to AI, at least, is a passing grade at MIT. So I guess I passed the MIT final exam in linear algebra. But there's a caveat. I had GPT-40 grade my test, and it's an easy grader. Here's an example. The new O3 model they released, which is really powerful, it takes a while to grade, it gave me a 27%. <laughs> so I think I basically failed it. But I did learn some stuff, and I'm going to review the answers, probably check out a couple textbooks that have been referred to me, just get some background there and finish watching some three blue, one brown videos. But the challenge is over. I'm not going to try to rush through this. Now it's just I have the rest of my life to let all these linear algebra concepts continue to gel, continue to make sense. And I have extensive notes that I've taken with my Chrome extension I developed on this. It's called Clipwise. Very helpful for just saving little screenshots, reviewing them later. Um, but anyways, it's been really cool. All you guys have tuned in have really encouraged me and given me a lot of great insights. And I'm going to keep this learning journey with AI going despite this rough test. And what I want to learn next is organic chemistry. I hear it's the hardest class you can take in college. It basically weeds out all of the people who aren't ready to be in med school. And I don't know anything about it. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Same idea, three weeks, get into organic chemistry. And I'm going to use some of the insights I've learned this time to hopefully do better the next time around. And then who knows what's next? Mysteries of the universe, theoretical physics, you know, solve some crazy problems. I think the opportunities are limitless with AI. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and uh, stay learning.